Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit. I am Architect Sonu Rai from Gladi Studio and in this today video tutorial, we will discuss how to make aluminium composite panel cladding in Revit. So I am going to teach you about one method. So you can see this is a small commercial building here and I am I want to draw aluminium composite cladding from this first floor till this terrace. So for this, I am going to my first floor here and you can see this is our uh, projection here so i want to start from here so for drawing aluminium composite panel first you are required to go to your wall architectural here and in wall architectural you can select a store front and in a store front you can give this height or 25 feet or depending on your design and requirement you can go to simply edit type and you can create a duplicate here and I'm going to rename this as a aluminium uh, panel here and now I'm going to click OK and you can see here cut and panel glazed here and this vertical grid layout is as a fixed distance and you can select your spacing so in this case I have selected 3 feet here and a horizontal grid layout fixed distance is 5 feet here so i'm going to make this again 3 feet here so we can ch choose any sizes depending on your design and in the vertical mullions you can make all the mullion sizes to 1 inch square you can see or oh, this interior type mullion is 1 inch square and border is also 1 inch square and same you can do this for horizontal mullions and after this you can cl click apply ok and now i am going to draw this from here to here and you can select the 25 feet height now we'll go to 3d view and you can see this is our aluminium uh, composite panel in the form of this uh, storefront so we are required to make this as a aluminium composite panel so for this you can press tab on your uh, keyboard and you can select this panel first and you can see this is our panel and after this you can right click here and you can go to select all instances visible in view and now after this you can go to your modify curtain panels and you can simply unpin it and now after this you can see this system panel in properties is glazed so you can click on this drop down arrow and you can click solid here and now you can see this is uh, become solid here and you can change the material of this panel also if you want to make to any other color so you can simply press tab again and you can select this and you can go to edit type and you can go to this finish here material default and click on to this three dot and now we can change to any other color if you want to change the this material cladding color here so you can choose any other so suppose i'm going to select this blue here you can click apply okay okay and now this is turned out to be blue composite panel so now you are required to select your mullion here so you can select mullion and you can select this mullion here first and you can go to edit type and now i am going to first select mullion here so i am going to press tab and i am going to select this mullion and i'm going to edit type and i'm going to change this uh, material here so i'm going to click on this material three dot and you can select this gray here you can make this color as a black if you want click ok apply and ok apply ok so now this is turned out to be black here you can see here and after this you can simply press tab again or you can select this curtain 
uh, aluminium uh, store front here and you can simply press space on your keyboard and you can see this is adjusted this after this you can give openings into this so you can select this store front go to edit profile and you can uh, change the visual style here so i am going to wireframe here and i am going to front here and you can see these openings here so you can give opening depending on your design so i am going to give opening like this here and opening like this here i can finish this and after this you can go to the realistic mode and you can see here this is the cladding so likewise you can make a nice cladding in revit so thanks for watching bye bye